Hi, welcome to this brand new part, part 21 on certified data analytics. This is a professional certification. You need a bit of cloud operating knowledge. So if you have uh, not done AWS solution architect associate, first do that and then you can appear for data analytics. Okay. So you see this this is the youtube handle you can search for so many videos playlists shorts and so on there are 500 plus videos and of 3000 plus questions on aws different types of certifications uh, azure google cloud snowflake so you can choose to subscribe if you have not done yet. So let us look at this question now. See the problem statement here. You need to create an automated solution. That is what is required. You are supposed to create automated solution. For what? You have EMR clusters. EMR clusters for that. So what do you do? you are installing third party libraries on the cluster okay and you want to eliminate this manual process and you have to choose two answers see the first one says you place the required installation scripts in s3 and execute them using custom bootstrap actions the bootstrap action is like when the cluster is starting it will bootstrap and it will install and from where will it read the code for to install it will read it from s3 so this will help automation for sure this will this will be good and then b is saying that you place the installation script on s3 that it is fine but you execute through Apache Spark. Uh, see, Apache, this is not a program that we are talking about. We are not talking about a program to load the data. We are talking about installing something. When the boot happens, you want to install something. We are talking about installation. When you talk about installation, Apache Spark is of no use. Apache Spark is used to build applications to build transformation routines. C says you install third party in master node, create AMI out of master node and use that custom AMI to create the EMR cluster. So uh, this kind of looks correct. And uh, why I'm saying is because we, we do that at least in terms of uh, EC2 kind of so at face value this option looks correct but the problem is it you know if you go through the documentation the C does not work that way the right one would be E because you still need EC2 instance uh, if you see this documentation this is heavily tied to EC2 like you try to use a custom AMI but it is like dependent on EC2, so D should E should work fine, okay. And D is talking about uh, Dynamo DB, so we don't do not use like to. It is saying that we will store the list of applications and trigger Lambda function with Dynamo DB to install the software. So nobody does this. Uh, who uses Lambda to install anything? See, whenever thumb rule, whenever we talk about installing something, think about bootstrap, think about AMI. Okay, so these two should be correct. Well, let us look at the next question. So, you have Athena, okay, and you know what if you plug Athena on a data source, for example, uh, this box is Athena and you have a database and it has say 20 terabytes of data okay 
So Athena will scan 20 terabytes if you don't control it. So that is the question. The question says, boss, please control it. Okay. Uh, for example, boys from Haryana, they need to be controlled. They look at the girls and get out of control, for example. So they say, they go and tell the parents, boss, control it. Similarly, here we are saying, ask Athena to control. Do not scan the entire data set because that will be very costly. Very costly. So the first year, so the first option says configure Athena to invoke Lambda. See Lambda, uh, anywhere you cannot use Lambda. In India, there are some people who says uh, like there are serious problems with with different with some of the states, serious problems. Okay, uh, some of them don't want to be with India. And then there are certain politicians say that okay, jadu ki jappi, pyar ki jappi does not work for critical problems, man. For critical problems, you need you know very focused critical solutions. So here, lambda is not that solution. Okay, you cannot just uh, use lambda anywhere you want. Lambda will not go and terminate the queries. How will lambda know which query I should terminate? Okay. So this solution is incomplete also. It does not tell me how will Lambda know to terminate the queries. So you have to do something at the Athena end. Okay. You cannot, it is your baby. Okay. You cannot give it to someone else and say, boss, you will take care of the threshold. No. Your baby, Athena's baby, Athena will have to do it. Athena cannot give it to other services like Lambda, EC2 instance, or so on. Or S3 bucket. Similarly, C is wrong because C is telling we will do something at S3 bucket level. No boss. It is your baby. It is not S3's baby. S3 is not even in the question. So why will S3 help you? They will not help you. Option B. For each work group, you have to set the limit for each query. This is the answer. Now why not D? D says you for each work group set the work group wide data usage control limit. Data usage control limit is different okay you, you have to limit set the control limit for each query that is how you have to control it you see this documentation you have per query control limit this is what we want it specifies total amount of data scanned per query here if you see work group wide it specifies total amount of data scanned for all queries that is run during specified time period there is a difference. If any query runs in the work group exceeds the limit, it is cancelled. Here, you can create multiple limits per work group. The work group wide query limit allows you to set multiple thresholds on hourly daily. You can set multiple thresholds. But our, our question is just saying, boss, set one threshold. So we will use this option. So this would be the answer. So one thing you should notice this. Uh, work group wide no the control limit is at the aggregate level if there are five queries five queries together is it crossing one terabyte and here per query means single query even if one query crosses one terabyte it will cancel it that is the difference i hope this is clear to you so now the next question this is something which you guys can do as a homework i will give the solution this is the solution. Now let us look at this one. There is Kinesis data stream for real time analytics, and the data is put here. This is Kinesis, it is put using put statement, put record. This is put record. But there are certain times there are network outages. So, in network outage, what happens? Uh, it's like <coughs> It was it already sent some data, but it didn't got written. Okay, so uh, what happens is the data is sent, but there is a network outage. The data is not in Kinesis now, so the data will be sent again. Or second scenario, the data was sent, it got received by Kinesis, but the producer thought uh, probably it was not received. It it resends it. So what the company is saying is. We want only one, uh, obtain exactly one semantics. One semantics means 
one record should be received once only that means there should not be duplicate simple this word is very confusing exactly one semantics that means we don't want duplicates simple so how to avoid duplicates uh, see some options if you see here option d says that we will use apache flink apache spark in emr so did the question talk about emr anything no so why will we consider this c is telling that design the producer so events are not ingested so yes yeah, so this is a producer yeah this guy is a producer and this guy is putting data here so they are saying you tell the producer itself boss don't don't send the same data again see well producer sent a data network outage happened how will the producer know that kinesis didn't uh, capture that data they will not know that right unless there is a return mechanism that you send the data unless kinesis tells hey i received the data you should not mark it as received you should keep sending it okay but I, you can see kinesis is your application right yeah, this is the boundary someone else is feeding it so when you are designing or modernizing your application will you tell the source systems hey please change do these big changes so that my life is easy where is that budget the budget was given to you for creating this project now the other guy doesn't have budget in real life this is how it works if you tell the producer producer will say that hey, i don't have budget for this let me ask for budget it might take 3 6 months now it is the project will be blocked so you have to be logical this option will not work okay it is your application your baby you have to do don't tell others to do your work simple thing okay in it world usually people try to tell others to do their work okay so that uh, scope boundaries you have to be very clear this is a real life problem i'm telling you we have to be very clear on the scope boundaries if you have been given the money to do thing you have to do it b says that rely on uh, kinesis data analytics to avoid duplicate processing okay so um data analytics is not even here they are talking about kinesis data streams mm so i'm not sure why we should select this option so we are left with one answer this one design the application so it can remove duplicates it is your application your baby you will fix it to remove duplicates during processing uh, how to do that it is also telling you that you assign a unique id in each record that is how you will uh, do that okay so this should be the right answer so this brings us to the end of this part stay tuned we will look at some more questions in the next parts so this is the youtube handle of this channel there are 500 plus videos 3000 plus questions on aws azure cloud google cloud gcp snowflake and tableau bi power bi so on so stay tuned and uh, do not forget that there are also some paid content available you have to access that in order to you know ensure that you have larger set of questions to practice so you can click the link in the description or the join button below this video to become a member earlier i had uh, put this at a high price for uh, uh you know cloud ninja members but you can also opt for cloud kernel and this content will still be available stay tuned we will see you in the next part